Timmy. What a pleasant surprise. So, what's on your mind? Well, um, every night before I go to sleep, I was wondering. Birds and the bees, huh? My stepmom's a stripper. I got that covered. It's just that, what with all the pollution, the corruption, and the hatred, I'm not sure about the future. What is tomorrow? Say, that's a pretty tall order. But I think I know someone who can help. Timmy, meet Clancy the Roach. Woo! Top of the morning to you boys. I couldn't help but overhear that there was some confusion as to what tomorrow might hold. Well, it just so happens I have a song. <laughs> of the creatures, and I can tell you why, cause we're hearty little bastards who refuse to give up and die. Here's to the greedy yuppie assholes, for as far as the eye can see, you use up everything you've got, and the world will belong to me, belong to me, oh to me, then the world will belong to me. So keep on making nuclear weapons, and blotting the earth with oil, keep rooting your favorite for wrestler when the ozone's about to boil, blow your money on TV preachers, keep pumping your kids with drugs, put your faith in big corporations, and leave the planet to the bugs, to the bugs, to the bugs, and leave the planet to the bugs. So you say, this roach is a real downer. His song makes me want to cry. And I'll be singing this song, my naive little friend, long after your kind has said goodbye. Well, it's time to smell the coffee, which I'm singing you by the cup. So, Timmy, are you following any of this so far? I'm not sure, but... But what? But your special effects are scaring the crap out of me. <laughs> Don't worry, that's normal for a boy your age. Golly, Professor Overton, what's going on? He must be going to live concert footage. Here, put these on. From the Vic Theater in Chicago, HBO presents One Night Stand. Starring Rick Overton. Thank you very much. Wow, wow, it's really a pleasure to be back here in Chicago again. Uh, you know, a lot of guys say they had a bad flight. I had a great flight in. It was all right, actually, you know. They showed uh, Ronald Reagan's new summer adventure film, Partial Recall. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Mommy, we're on Mars again. <laughs> Not another implant. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> Uh, yeah, but it wasn't very comfortable. I, I couldn't get adjusted right in my seat there because I had a bad auto wreck back in Los Angeles. And, uh, well, it's my own fault, really, because I could have been saved, but I was cheap and I bought one of those lousy aftermarket airbags you install on the steering wheel. You know, the kind you have to inflate manually when you see the accident coming. <laughs> A little air tube, you know. Everything goes into slow motion. <laughs> blown up all the way in time, so when you impact, it just forces the air back into you again. <laughs> what are they doing? They're sticking seatbelts on us, and airbags, and helmets, and shit, you know, none of that shit really works. You want to make the world safe? Let's make the whole goddamn planet out of Nerf. <laughs> Nerf world, where nothing will ever be dangerous again. Make it all out of Nerf. The sidewalks, the streets, the boats, the planes, the cars, the trains, the clothing, the furniture. Make it all out of Nerf. Why, you drive your car and run down someone you like. 
Sneaking up on me like that. Get out of here, you Nerf world nut. You could jump off the roof of your building on days when your stocks are doing pretty damn good. <laughs> okay, off to work. Just ain't waiting for that elevator here in Nerf world. Your captain speaking, we've lost power in all four engines, so sit back, relax, enjoy the crash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seems like a good idea till it all boils down to nerf sex, and then it's like, hey. <laughs> Damn you, Rick! <laughs>